Praia. At the Alpha V Share, take a for flying with us. Welcome to Praia. Have a nice day. Be a flight and then stay. Reflecting on our visit to Lombok, I'd like to share some background on the history of that project and what, what's happening there now. So we started in Lombok in 2016 in Gili Maino, a, small, a very small school on one of the islands off the mainland. And we continued there until 2018 when there was a massive earthquake that disrupted much of North Lombok and all the Gilis. After that, there was an incredible emergency response, which we were part of, a reconstruction phase, and then as things returned to normal, we were able to expand our work in the Gillies. So we went, ended up in all schools in the Gillies and a couple of mainland schools. kamu sudah bisa berenang. Our concept was that the impoverished people on the mainland and on the Gili Islands all had the potential to be employed in the tourism industry. However, their lack of education, literacy and spoken English meant that they were not engaged in any of these activities. They might have worked as boatmen or as porters, but that's about as far as it went. Don't forget to lock the door. You is no. My name is Kairun. You can call me Bila. I am from Lombok. I live in Tembobor. I am 12 years old. As time went on, we received a grant from the Australian Government which enabled us to expand our teaching, uh, particularly on the mainland. And as of now, we have 14 teaching facilities in North Lombok. There's three Gili schools, the three Gili schools, each of the Gili Islands. We've got mainland elementary schools, mainland junior and senior high schools. Four of the facilities are madrasas, that means they're traditional Islamic schools, and the balanced schools are government schools. Thank you, We're at SC1 uh, Tanjung in North Lombok. When I first visited this school in 2018, after the big earthquake, there was rubble everywhere. Now this is all that's really left of the rubble and instead we now have an operating school again, which is wonderful. At that time everyone was in tents and there was just mess. It was actually quite a dangerous site to walk through. Since then we've been able to establish English classes in this school for the grades four to six and Charlie Stung, which is a remedial numeracy, reading and writing classes for the grades one to three. I've just been in one of the Charleston remedial classes. They're going really well. The children at this school, despite three and a half years of interrupted education, are performing surprisingly well. Um, six months after the first remedial teaching ca has come in, they're showing some really good results. So we're incredibly um, optimistic about the outcome we'll get at this school. On this trip, we've been travelling around looking at each of these facilities, speaking to the headmasters and considering what are the current issues and what are the special things we can do to help. Yeah. 